Jeff. Zarka is an addictively fun card game of monsters, weapons, and cheeky revenge. But how do you play it? Well, let's start with the cards. Every Zarka card is either a monster or a weapon. Monster cards are the ones with the monsters on them. Each player has some monsters on the table in front of them. These form each player's monster army, and the table is the battlefield. Each monster in the battlefield has a red heart token on one of their hearts. This shows how much life force each monster still has remaining. A token on the bottom right heart means the monster is at full health and has all of its hearts. This is how all monsters start the battle. A token on the top left heart means the monster has only one heart remaining. Once a monster's red token lands on the cross or beyond, that monster is defeated. Players can also have some cards in their hand, which they keep secret. But these cards don't count for anything unless they are played onto the battlefield. The aim of the game is to defeat all of the other players' monsters in the battlefield. If you're the only player with a monster left undefeated, you win. Once the game has started, players take turns one after the other to command their monster army. On each of your turns, there are just two stages. In the first stage, you can play cards from your hand into the battlefield. You can play two, one or zero cards in this stage. Monsters can be put straight into the battlefield along with a new heart token, but weapons can only be played if they are given to a monster with a matching weapon type symbol in their top corner. Weapons make monsters stronger, but monsters can only have one weapon each. For the second stage, you get to use one of your monster's abilities, but only just the one. Monsters have different abilities that do different things, such as protecting an ally or stealing cards from another player. But most monsters have a basic attack ability. To use an attack ability, add up the number of swords beside your chosen attacking monster's ability, as well as any weapon bonus if they have a weapon. This is your monster's attack strength. Next, choose a defending monster to attack. You can choose any opposing monster on the battlefield to attack. This is where you can get your revenge or break a truce you pretended to make. The defending monster then loses the same number of hearts as the attacking monster's attack strength. An attack strength of two means the defending monster loses two hearts. Make the defending player move their monster's heart token along to show how many hearts their monster has left. If the defending monster still has some hearts remaining, your turn is over. But if you defeat a monster, you get to pick up a card from the deck in the middle of the battlefield, and the defeated monster gets moved to the discard pile along with any weapon they are holding. Only if you defeat a monster do you get to pick up a card. Then your turn is over. Each player keeps taking turns like these until they don't have any monsters left in the battlefield. Then they are knocked out of the game, even if they still have monsters in their hand. Once there's only one player left, the game is over and the battle is won. Ready to start playing? Yes! Begin by shuffling the deck and dealing five cards to each player. Each player should check their hand to make sure they have at least three monsters in it. If you don't have three monsters, return your weapons to the deck and replace them with new cards. Do this until each player has at least three monsters. Then shuffle the deck again and pop it in the middle of the battlefield face down. Now choose who deserves to go first and start the action. On each player's first turn, they must play at least one monster into the battlefield and cannot use any abilities. After that, normal turns continue until one player is crowned the champion. And that's it. Check out the full instructions for slightly more detailed rules, including how to play with two players. Otherwise, get ready to start battling. <laughs>